Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series about key experiments in physics and today I will talk about the stern gerlach experiment. Now we are at the beginning of the 20th century. Bohr's model of the atom in 1913 was already established. A big enthusiasm permeated all physics because, you know, that, that was a really exciting picture you had the atom as a little solar system and the, air, the electrons were orbiting the nucleus as the planets orbit the sun so people tried to do experiments and to verify that and a very natural idea was that apart from the orbital motion the electrons would have a proper rotation this idea was later called spin and Stern and Gallup in 1922 tried to prove it. Now they set up a beam of electrons coming from an oven and it was were silver atoms but that doesn't really matter. You just imagine electrons coming out of that and well you suppose that there is that proper rotation and you could imagine this as well you say you have this axis of rotation here so your angular momentum would be a vector oriented in a arbitrary direction in three-dimensional space so these electrons or atoms would come out from the atom and you expect well this is this direction the other electron has that direction a third electron has this direction distributed in random manner and Stern and Gerlach set up an inhomogeneous magnetic field in a manner that if the electrons were aligned, if the electron spin was aligned with the magnetic field like this, they would come on top. And if they were aligned opposite to the magnetic field, they would come down here. And of course, what you expect if you have a random distribution of this spin of this angular momentum, as people were convinced at the time, you would expect that you have a continuous distribution of atoms coming up here, hitting the wall here, and atoms coming down here. And this was simply not the case, because, I mean, it's clear that you should, this distribution should be random, but the very surprising result was there were only two points in which the electrons or the atoms arrived up here and down here. That means, if you interpret this in terms of angular momentum, that the electron would have either this angular momentum or that opposite angular momentum. That means it could only rotate parallel or anti-parallel to the magnetic field, which is completely absurd, because why should it? I mean, where does it know how the magnetic field is oriented? So this is a very deep riddle, and I would say it's not understood, not properly understood to this day. And it points to the very mysterious nature of space and time. And well, it's called, the thing is called spin, of course, of the electron, but it's not an explanation. And we must seek for real explanations not for cheap excuses in physics and uh, saying that okay that's just spin that's an effect of quantum mechanics is at the very end a cheap explanation the result of the stern gerlach experiment in reality points to a deep problem with space-time and our understanding of maybe three plus one dimensional reality and I think it's something we should continue to think about. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.